good day. Welcome to Sterling Power Products. My name is Charles Sterling and I am the owner of this company. This video should be used as a rough guide only. We recommend that any actions that may take place as a result of anything gleaned from these short videos are undertaken by a qualified electrical engineer and that all safety aspects and protocols are understood by that engineer. This video is dedicated to explaining what a battery chemistry module is, how it works and when and where one should use such a device. So what is a battery chemistry module? In simple terms, it's an add-on device which can be connected to a multiple output battery charger, which allows one or more battery chemistry types to be charged from that charger. The problem is that the limitation with a standard three output battery charger, the limitation with a standard three output battery charger is that although they have three separate outputs for three separate battery banks, the battery charger can only be set for one battery chemistry type, i.e. gel, AGM, lead acid, lithium, etc. The problem arises when different battery types are required in one installation, i.e. you may require AGM for the starter battery and open lead acid traction for the main battery bank. This leaves a conundrum as to which battery chemistry to set the battery charger profile to. That is of course assuming that your base charger is even adjustable for different battery types. The dilemma is that the AGM and open lead acid battery charging chemistry profiles will not satisfy the charging requirements for the two different types. You will either overcharge one or sulfate the other depending on which setting you choose to use. A good practical marine example for this product is a gel battery bank for your starter battery bank and an open lead acid battery bank for a domestic battery bank. Then, just to be awkward, we have thrown in a 24 volt seal lead acid battery bank for the bow thruster or anchor winch, which by the way is a much better option than a 12 volt version. This causes a problem for most multiple standard output battery chargers as they can only be set to the one battery chemistry type and one voltage. The usual thing is to set the charger to the lower voltage chemistry, which in turn reduces the potential performance of the charger for the other battery banks with the different chemistries. It also has the potential to damage the battery bank whose battery charging profile is not being correctly met. The battery chemistry module can also address other problems such as you may have a 12 volt charger but a 24 volt battery bank or vice versa. Then a 12 to 24 volt or a 24 volt to 12 volt battery chemistry module can also be used which not only changes the primary voltage, but also allows for a different battery chemistry as well. So how do we fix this problem? The new Stirling module approach, this is from a unique angle. We effectively place in a box, which is a built-in voltage booster to the output stage of a multiple output charger. This means that the new device can be added to any of the output terminals of the ProCharge Ultra or to most other competitors' products as long as they are multiple output chargers. This has the big advantage of not loading the standard charger with unwanted and expensive technology and allows people who need this technology to simply add it on as or when they need it. This allows the main charger to be set at a lower chemistry voltage for the likes of gel. Then by adding the new Sterling multiple chemistry module to one of the outputs, you can adjust the output to a totally different charging chemistry profile. That output voltage and charging curve from the battery chemistry module is independent from the main charger's input voltage. Another application for this product include long distance charging. You may have one battery bank a long distance from the main charger. This results in a large voltage drop in the cables between the charger and the battery banks. Again, the battery chemistry module is ideal for this by accepting the low input voltage from the charger, it boosts it up to the required voltage for that battery bank, thus eliminating any voltage drops in the cable and also giving you the different chemistry option as well. Another very popular application for this product, which it could be used for outside its primary intended function, is on small boats which still use the popular split charge diode and have an alternator which is less than 60 amps this standard insulation will suffer from two major charging issues. 
the first being the voltage drop across the diodes which will diminish the charge rates and the second is the low voltage from the alternator to start with. The end result is an extremely poor charging system. However, by simply applying the battery chemistry module to the domestic terminal from the split charge diode, you can boost the output charge ability from the standard system by 5 to 10 times. The advantage of this product is, first of all, it's easy to install. It fits our product and most of our competitors' multiple output chargers. It's available in various formats from 12 to 12 volts, 12 to 24, 24 to 24, and 12 to 24 volt models. There are eight selectable independent battery chemistries to choose from, including lithium and a desulfation cycle. Also on the unit is a waterproof battery temperature sensor to enable battery temperature compensation and high battery temperature trip. There is also the ability to add a remote control and remote sense compensation. There are six LEDs projecting over 20 individual charge and warning information events. This unit is also fail safe in the event of a product malfunction. The unit reverts to a basic charge function which will allow the unit to continue to work but at a poor charge performance profile. This allows the unit to be replaced or repaired at the owner's convenience. The product also has an optional high battery temperature daisy chain trip so that every battery in the battery bank can be monitored and the unit switched off in the event of any battery bank overheating or any individual battery. There is an ignition feed generator to link to the Sterling Pro Charge Ultra or the Pro Split R alternator splitter. This allows for the splitting to be done even further. A remote control is also available as an optional extra. I hope this short video introduction has been of use to you. Please visit our website. Such a 